ML Sports Take brought to you by Welch and Company Jewelers and Stanley Law Offices. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. 27-24 winners for the Chiefs over the Bills. And one huge reason why, of course, was the ability in the second half for the Chiefs to completely manhandle the Bills. They outscored them 14-7 in the box score, but it was more about the coaching and the scheming and the opportunistic situations, right? They won third downs. They made the smarter plays. Uh, the bad fake punt by the Bills, I know, and then Hardman fumbled, fumbled it out of the end zone. There were dumb plays on both sides, but it was who was going to make the fewer mistakes, and the Chiefs were the team that did that, and then the Bills get down there, of course, and Tyler Bass misses a field goal. Stop with the Scott Norwood stuff, by the way. It was a perfect snap, a perfect hold, and Tyler Bass went right into it. It was 44 yards. Actually, was an easier kick than the Scott Norwood uh, in terms of yardage, but the wind, you could see it. It was, like, it was like going right through your golf ball like you always do, and the ball going right with the wind. Go look at it. And by the way, I'm sick and tired of the banging on Scott Norwood. That guy was a great kicker overall. He just had a bad hash, 47 yards, one time, one kick. He made every other kick during his Bills career that was on the biggest stages. Just was one kick. But the second half, Joe Brady, a lot of shaky offensive uh, play calling. The Bills offensive line broke down and enough of the freaking Josh Allen criticism on that last drive. Did he not take digs underneath? Correct. Did he miss Sherfield across the middle deep when he tried to take... Correct. But why did he do that? He had less than two seconds to think about it because Chris Jones, a Hall of Fame player in the making, was literally pancaking Deion Dawkins on the left side into Josh Allen. The Bills offensive line started to crumble. Credit the Chiefs defensive line, one of the elite lines in football, for wearing them down. Andy Reid out coaches McDermott. The Chiefs make fewer mistakes. They stay the course. Championship pedigree. Make plays. Close win on the road. And all the people, oh, this was the Bills' best shot to beat the Chiefs. It probably was in the playoffs. It probably was. But you know what? Sometimes it doesn't matter when your best shot is because the champs hang on. They survive. Last year, they survived the Tyreek Hill trade. They won the Super Bowl. This year, they're right back in the AFC Championship game. And that's why the Chiefs, not the Bills, not anybody else, the Chiefs are the gold standard in the NFL right now. ML Sports Take brought to you by our good friends over at Stanley Law Office's Welch & Company Jewelers and Bonnet Sales and Service. If your garage door fails, call Bonnet Sales and Service today in and around Central New York. Go visit them online at bonnetsalesandservice.com.